Rachel Burden, 47, took to Twitter to discuss an emotional moment from the Queen's funeral, which had been brought up on her BBC Radio 5 live radio show earlier in the day. The BBC Breakfast presenter admitted she was skeptical, with many BBC viewers disagreeing with the presenter over the corgis and ponies' ability to grieve. Rachel has presented on BBC Radio 5's Live Weekday Breakfast show since 2011 and is a firm favourite on the channel. After finishing her radio show, Rachel reflected on pictures of Queen Elizabeth II's beloved pony and corgis seeming sad during the monarch's funeral procession on Monday. She penned to her 94,900 Twitter followers, Can we talk about animals mourning? I'm skeptical, but the at BBC5 Live audience is telling me the corgis and fell pony were genuinely sad. Many social media users rushed to the comments to share their view on the impact of the Queen's death on her pets. Deborah Jonderscore Powell said, They definitely do. My father's dog mourned for him and my dogs mourned when my oldest dog died. Cinegram added, A major part of an animal's mood is reflective of the mood of the humans surrounding the animal. However, many also agreed with the presenter over the animal's abilities to grieve. Jeswike said, Well trained. The pony and corgis are well trained. Anyone saying they know they were genuinely sad is making it up. No doubt they might miss her, but them being sad at a specific thing yesterday or being sad looking at the hearse? Not a chance. Dane T80 said, I imagine those animals are fed and watered and cared for by other people so I don't think so. Discussion about the Queen's pets began as her last two corgis, Mick and Sandy, appeared during the funeral procession. They were pictured in the quadrangle at Windsor Castle as she approached St. George's Chapel. The dogs, one on a red lead and one on a blue, were held by two pages in red tail coats. Emma, the Queen's fell pony, was also seen, standing on the grass in a gap in the floral tributes along the long walk. The monarch was patron of the Fell Pony Society for 40 years, first bred one in 1952, and was seen riding them even into her later years. The Queen loves corgis throughout her adult life, having been given her first, Susan, on her 18th birthday. In the decades that followed, more than 30 of Susan's descendants became the Queen's pets and she gave a huge boost to the popularity of the breed. The Queen's dogs were often at her side throughout meetings at royal houses and palaces. The two dogs have been entrusted to the care of Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah, Duchess of York following the Queen's death.